Hi, welcome to this part of the video series. Here we will look at some of the important thumb rules for uh, the topic cloud front. This is a very important topic. You will definitely get questions linked to cloud front. Please subscribe to my channel and like my videos. If you think my videos are making sense, please remember it helps me keep myself motivated if you subscribe and like my videos. Let's jump into the thumb rules. The first thumb rule we should understand is what is CloudFront? Okay, so remember this is just another service. Okay, it's a web service. Obviously, everything in Amazon is a web service. Okay, now what is important to understand is what does this service do? CloudFront in any of the certification exams, primarily exclusive to cloud practitioner and AWS solution architect associate. If you get scenarios where we are talking about making a website faster or delivering or distributing the content with low latency, then CDN or CloudFront is your answer. Okay. Usually I've seen three types of questions and this is one type where you should understand that is this a web service it is used to distribute content okay distribute content with low latency high data transfer speeds okay now we need to understand how does it do so okay let's check that next thumb rule. so with cloud front your files are delivered to end users using the global network edge locations you know in the previous slide we were talking about high data transfer speeds how does it do it? It does it through a global network of edge locations. What it means? See, usually in the cloud world, if you want to send information, there are two ways. Either you can broadcast it through the internet or you can use the edge locations. You know, when, when cloud was invented, okay, it, say year 2004 2005 when amazon wa was doing uh, this sort of architecture and infrastructure as a pilot for their own use they were not even intending to put this as a product for external users they wanted to do it for their own use and when they were building it they realized that if we make it commercial for external clients this is one problem they would face is uh the speed the speed of data transfer in order to address that they thought we should put a global network of edge locations so what it means is there are servers set up at many places across the world across different continents asia uh, north america europe and so on okay so in the exam you will get scenarios where they will talk about you know transferring the files using, using edge locations so always remember uh, this is a service cloud front okay they are talking about cloud front now we need to understand is cloud front employs the the network of edge locations and regional edge caches to cache copies of your content close to the viewers so suppose you are sitting in new york okay and so they would use that edge location and they would cache it to uh, in the edge location which is near to the user that is how it provides speed so cloud front is all about speed so if you are looking at something like netflix okay Netflix uses such services. These are like CDN services, Netflix, Amazon Prime. They use such services. Why? Because they want to make sure the end user who is watching the content of Netflix, they do not have to wait for the buffer. You know, the, the videos are getting buffered. They don't have to wait for that. So in order to provide maximum performance, lowest latency, Netflix also uses such services so that they can deliver the content as fast as possible. Now, the fourth thumb rule we should know is this service, okay, 
it is available pay as you go okay it is available that way so you don't have to do any commitments okay and pay as you go so they will charge you only for what you have used that is important let's see some rule five so how does uh, CloudFront, you remember, if there are like, this is an important concept, okay? If there are five users, suppose, and they're accessing the same file, okay? So the view request at the edge location for the same file will be collapsed into a single request to your original server. That, that is how it tries to collapse and make sure that it gains performance. Okay, if you get scenarios where multiple users are accessing the same file and you want to improve the latency, CloudFront is your solution. Got it? So, let's look at uh, the next thumb rule. CloudFront is a good choice for distribution of frequently accessed static. And you always remember, what type of content would you try to cache? Static content. Okay, this is important. So, for example, you are watching uh, something on Netflix or Amazon Prime. So, these videos are static. They have uh, produced these videos and uploaded uh, them on cloud. So, these are static. Okay. So, CloudFront works best if the files are static. It does not work best if the files are dynamic so what it means is if there there are files which keeps on changing even if you cache them you will not get a lot of performance gains or lowest latency that's why we say use it for images videos media files your netflix content your ott content all media files songs and all use it for storing software and software downloads which will speed up the rate at which the softwares are downloaded for install and configuration so this solution the cloud front okay it integrates with variety of service it integrates with s3 it integrates with ec2 it integrates with load balancers as origin servers okay so what it means is it it gives developers a powerful combination of durable storage and high performance delivery okay so uh, you have your files on s3 for example okay your files are on s3 you have put cloud front cf here and these are your users okay so the files are here cloudfront will try to cache the static content and display it to the user so these files can also be video files for netflix okay now let's look at uh, the next summer here since we are talking about variety of services, it also integrates with Route 53 and Cloud Formation. What does Cloud Formation do is Cloud Formation is infrastructure as a code. Okay, that means if I need to create a VM or an EC2 instance, if I have to create a series of them, maybe 10 or 12, I will not sit manually and create these instances configure these i i will not do that what will i do is i'll create a code using yaml or json okay and whenever i want to create for example i have set up a dev box a dev environment and i need to replicate the same installation and configuration to my test boxes I can do that I will just run the same code in my test environment and create a new test environment in a in a matter of an hour or so I can do that without spending manual effort okay and I get the same accuracy same configuration uh, so the chances of human error is null okay so since we are talking about 
what for what sort of content CloudFront is excellent. So it is good for HTTP or WebSocket protocols, a website, maybe a big website, something like Amazon.com, Flipkart.com. It's good for that. Uh, or something like, uh, I, I don't know if you know, pin.com where they put a lot of images it's good for that as well where you know you have images or it is good for uh, things where uh, maybe some application like YouTube or Netflix or so on so it stores media files and so on so we already discussed this in, in the previous thumb rules we are just reiterating this whenever you see scenarios we are just talking about these things website images video files and so on always think about CloudFront first and like we discussed edge locations is the key that delivery content delivery is done through edge locations and these edge locations are dispersed these are regional caches there's also a regional cache REC it provides additional caching layer close to the users and that's why you get the highest performance one more thing is important from the exam standpoint is geo restriction and you will get this question in the exam what it talks about is you want to restrict users from a specific country or a specific list of countries to 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 not access the content only only a specific list of people or countries should access your content maybe say us uk uh, only those people should access your content maybe you have such kind of rules and regulations or you know there is something called gdpr like the data from eu that is europe should stay in europe if you have such thing and nobody should be able to access it you can use geo restriction of cloud front so that people outside eu cannot access that data i wish sometime someday the asian people uh, together like china india uh, singapore Malaysia they also set up something like a GDPR for the data residing here so that the EU guys cannot access our data okay because uh, we, we also have to safeguard our data with, with the same measures that other countries do now suppose suppose you have a website okay and which is also using a payment gateway is CloudFront uh, PCI certified yes it is it is PCI compliant that is payment card industry compliant that means if you have websites which is using payment gateways you can still use CloudFront it is still secured what you mean by compliant is it is secured so that your there the chances of a fraud happening or someone accessing your credit card information is not possible it's not there okay that is that is what we are talking about pci and in the same regard you also have a hipaa compliance program and this service gives you it's compliant with hipaa guidelines which is primarily with some sort of healthcare industries and it is also compliant with soc okay you can have a read about soc so these reports are independent third party examination reports that demonstrate how AWS achieves key compliance controls and objectives. It tries to audit that. Okay, so this probably brings us to the end of this part. Please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and like I usually say, if you are liking this content, do give me a thumbs up and do subscribe. See you in the next part. Thank you.